Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io and welcome to a 34-person battle here in Europe. Fulsing against humans is not allowed. Let's go down here. Holy cow, nobody's going in Africa. We're definitely going to take this up. One other person joins us, but if that's it, this is going to be a lovely spot for us. And hopefully nobody comes in, but nobody came in at the last second. As long as nobody late spawned or, you know, computer spawned, we'll be in a great spot. So I did get you guys' feedback on the longer video, so we're going to explore that a little bit today. So we'll start kind of aiming for more 15 to 20 minute videos. Just try to feel that out, see if you guys are interested in that. But if interest dies off, if the shorter videos are kind of more your thing, you know, don't worry, we'll still be doing a few of those along the way. So we'll just continue on our infinite growth pattern here. Uh, just kind of grabbing some land. I don't see anybody near us, which is really really good for us as we do I'm about to enter into the infinite growth uh, i didn't speak a little bit earlier unfortunately we do get cut off by a number of bots so we're gonna have to become into the bot phase rather quickly i probably should have sent slightly earlier than that but that's okay as we do have so many bots to get through we'll be able to make this up as there's only that one player to the west of us that we really need to worry about right now nobody else is here so even if, the, if even if there's someone over in kind of middle of africa we're gonna be fine so we do have the player in green over to the left of us. He's growing rather aggressively. So I'm actually going to try and grow towards him. Try and cut him off from being able to go around me. And then start grabbing those bots. That's my plan. We'll see how much it works. We'll also grab some weak bots along the way. The really big ones at least. And just keep pushing towards him. We do effectively cut him off. We do get the crown. And now we can push westwards with a lot more authority. Uh, I'm not really going to worry about the bots that uh, the green player does touch. We'll just be able to continuously work our way east and that's going to work out really nicely for us we'll see if we can encapsulate some bots but i am going to take them down if i have the opportunity kang is only going to be able to attack us and he's rather strong but he that was about the weakest he was going to get so we'll go into him we'll also take out rag Rin over here as he's somebody that could be boated into and i really don't want to deal with somebody else on my borders having to kick them off doesn't seem like a good time so we'll just continue our west eastward expansion we are rather strong the green player does have a little bit more troops than us but if he does attack us we are much stronger than him. He's, we're in first. He's in seventh place. We have 56,000 pixels. So if he does start to attack us, then we'll be able to really kind of just hold the line here and make ourselves very strong. We are finally coming across another player. This red player did do a very smart move of kind of pushing past the E player to get down here. So we will have shared borders with why, bully, why you bully me. He has about similar troops than us. So we do need to keep that in mind. So we'll just kind of sit here, build up our troops. I think I'll push into this player right here. How many troops do you have? Um, he's got 100,000. That's a little bit concerning. We'll go ahead and let that boat go, though. Uh, we are getting attacked by Android user 828. Not much of a concern there. We'll go ahead and push through this just so we have the island of Corsica. And and somebody's boating into me. Who's this? Go away. Oh, that's our neighbor. Didn't mean to attack you, uh, but he's attacking me. Uh, I imagine I've made an enemy. So we really need to build up our troops here and just be patient. And as I say that, I see that Sicily is wide open. Do I go for that? You know, it's free. Why not? I, I think we're so strong right now, even though we are getting attacked, that we can afford to get that. We have 78,000 pixels. Second place is why you bully me. Unfortunately, our neighbor with 68,000. So there's still a very high chance of us getting kind of bullied up on right here. We'll definitely take that truce with you. And just kind of hold the line here. I do see a number of boats coming in from Iraq. The player on the white that we took Corsica from. But I don't believe he has enough troops to even land. As we do lose the crown to why you bully me. He's actually rather strong. There's nobody to really help me. But I have so many troops. And I'm at red interest. I think I'm going to push into him. This might be a mistake. I'll be up front with that. This is not the wisest move. As we do have the green player over to the west of us who is going to probably take this advantage to attack us, and nobody else looks like they're going to join in. I think they're just going to let the Battle of the Titans happen here. As we continuously push down this man, we finally take the crown away from him, but we're going to need to keep this pressure up in order to get the crown to a point where we have a definitive lead over him. So we'll just keep pushing into him. Uh, the green player is not attacking us, which is very good for us, that we can just go into this player uh, kind of in the isolated 1v1 that we have. So we'll just keep up the pressure here, trying to maximize our advantage ever so slightly with the troops, playing a very delicate balance of troop management because we have 89,000 pixels to his 84. So a very narrow lead indeed. And I, again, doubt anyone's going to help me. No one's really looking to help the crown. And our the player on the purple team did betray us. He's boated into Sicily. That was very clearly mine. Let's go ahead and knock that down. Ask him for the truce. Be like, hey, brother, now's not the time. 
uh, and we are getting attacked by USSR as well. As as well, well, now we're getting ganged up on. But the green player has really wasted a lot of troops attacking me. He's at his weakest he's been in a very long time. Let's see if we can knock him down and just kind of ignore our problems for the time being. As he's down to 800,000, he's desperately trying to attack us, but there's no full sending in this, so he's really going to struggle against that. So we'll completely knock him out of the game and eliminate a threat once and for all. Now, we are unfortunately losing Sicily. At this point, I'd rather just lose it and be done with it rather than continuously having to fight for it. We do need to save up our troops, but we have that ability to kind of just be passive here. But USSR is attacking me a lot. Let's actually kick him off. I didn't realize he actually had voted on. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to avoid Sicily. Yeah, just take it away from me. I don't really care at this point. And we have some weak players in the Iberian Peninsula, so I don't imagine that they're going to look to join in as well. But now that we have 14 million troops, we can now begin our attacks into Why You Bully Me. And uh, the Kingdom player is going to have to boat into us. And any future attacks on me, I'm going to quickly repel him so that I don't have to deal with his mass because he has about 6 million troops on his own. So Bully Me is down to about 11 million troops. We, we have a very distinct advantage over him. He's fallen down to third place. So... It does look like uh, the kingdom is boating into me. I see that boat coming to Corsica. There's a boat right there. Let's go ahead and punish him a little bit. Be like, hey, brother, I'm big enough to take both of these out. So don't think about this. So we'll knock him off his islands. He is asking for the truce. We'll accept the truce. I don't want to fight him right now, but he immediately betrays that truce and attacks me. Uh, CG over there is asking for the truce. He gives the kissy face. Yeah, that's him. So we'll give him a truce. I, I was never really planning on attacking him anyways. And so having him kind of be a little buffer zone for me is very, very nice. And we continue the attack with Why You Bully Me. Uh, he's asking us to attack Meleth. We'll give a small attack into there, but I don't want direct borders with the kingdom as we kick him off of our island once again, Sardinia. And just continuously focus down Why You Bully Me. Now we will stop this attack before uh, Meleth really is able to do any damage. That does give CG the advantage, so hopefully he'll be able to utilize that to mass effect but oh, stop brother brother you are playing a very dangerous game i am big enough to take both of you on he's down to three million troops he's really really trying to fight me and it's not working out for him fortunately ussr has kind of ceased his attacks um but i am just gonna get borders on the kingdom see if he kind of weakens himself up to the point i might kind of weaken him up because he's got about three neighbors who will probably attack him i'm not going to take him down but yeah as soon as we go in dagestan goes in as well ussr does attack him that being dagestan and now we'll go back to bully if we cannot touch borders with these three players without taking out bully first that will be an absolute death sentence for us especially if we get common borders with player 109 and why you bully me so we'll continuously focus him down as we said about 153,000 pixels player 109 is keeping pace with me though at 115 he is going to be an absolute threat but he's gonna have to push through players in order to get to me and he's going to push through USSR. That still doesn't give him direct borders on me. So I'm sitting pretty here. And I still have my Iceland 1v1. I feel very confident that I'm able to take out the bully player. That by the time I do touch borders with 109. That I'll be able to crush him swiftly. Even though he does have pretty similar pixels to me. We are at 172. He's at 154. So a very delicate balance. But I believe we have recovered from what I would call an early blunder. Attacking the green player on accident. If we had just focused down bully earlier this might have been better for us so we do finally knock him out of the game player 109 is there but he doesn't have the troops to really compete with us we need to begin the attack right away as he has very similar pixels to us we cannot allow this man to build up if anyone attacks me right now that might tip the balance but so far everyone's kind of being very passive and helpful in this regard it does look like he's getting attacked elsewhere or is building elsewhere as his troops are going down while i'm not attacking so we'll continuously knock him down is he's sitting about 13 million troops so yeah this has been one for us and he does leave so we can just sit back and just build up our troops unfortunately our buddy did leave over in the iberian peninsula he's not going to stick around to the end of the game but i do want my revenge on the kingdom for having attacked me so so many times i believe this is going to be the end of you sir <laughs> I feel like you attacked me at least 10 times and he's asking for the truce. Absolutely not. You came to the table of peace with, from a power of weakness knowing that I would crush you. Not from uh, uh, any kind of thoughts of uh, friendship there. So player 109 has exhausted all of his troops. The bot has very aggressively attacked. I will give a truce with Dagestan as he did help me out ever so slightly. And I believe Valhalla was also attacking player 109. So I will 
give him a truce as well. And just kind of say GG's to all involved. If he accepts that truce, he does. That's wonderful. So we'll look for the peace out here. He gives the collapse of good sportsmanship. We'll give it back. And the kissy face for the boys. We'll look to peace out here and we'll move on to the next one. All right, next game up is going to be a 98 player battle in the world. We are on teams. We're on the red team. So we'll pick our spot over in our kind of typical spot over here in Easter, Eastern Asia. Hopefully nobody comes up. I do see that magenta player in the peninsula. There is a large contingency of uh, Scion players building up. Our red team is getting very scattered and they're not going in very good places. That is a little bit concerning for me. The magenta player does push out a little bit more and a couple more players come over in the peninsula. So what was a very good spot? is eh it's a decent spot but at the end of the day 98 players you're not going to have a god tier spot and if you do something has gone horribly horribly wrong so we'll just play our game and play a very diplomatic game as we are the only red team over here now there are four team players on the white team hopefully that will be a, a unifier for the rest a unifier for the rest of the, the map over here i will uh try and give you a truce right, right away as you're the only other player that doesn't really have a team over here and it would be very poor judgment for us to kind of fight each other. Player 609 is also someone that doesn't have a teammate over here. But I don't really want to give him the false promise of being on his team when I might attack him. He looks like he has some opportunity to grab the rest of the potential. He is going into a player right away rather than the bots. So we'll just play around with kind of the, the space bar tactic here of attacking some weak bots. We do need to maintain a very high level of troops. So if we can get that done, we're going to be in a good spot. But... We are 17th in the world. We're not exactly a juggernaut by any means. Let's go ahead and get Cecilia down there. I do like the spacebar feature, but sometimes it misses great opportunities like Cecilia, which is why I had to manually take over. As we do get attacked by this big bot over here, Japan is another very big bot, which I do, I'm do i not looking forward to attacking. Bot Vietnam has become a bot himself, but is quickly getting dealt with. Uh, Yeah, I really didn't want to do that. I'd much rather build up my troops. This is a very scary situation for us. We need a lot of troops. Otherwise, we're going to get attacked very soon. Player 659 uh, has taken over the entire peninsula. If he's going to go into this bot and weaken him up for me, I'll go ahead and finish up the rest of Manchuria. But he is coming over into Manchuria. Yeah, I didn't really want to waste any more troops. We'll go over into this big island of Japan and down to South Korea as he only has about 10,000 troops left. But we, again, needed to be very cautious. Your friend is incredibly large and player... Uh, 659 is attacking me but your friend is attacking player 659 and he does leave and become a bot so we have the option of just kind of letting this bot kind of exhaust himself ever so slightly but again very delicate balance there's a lot of people that can attack us your friend is still attacking him and uh, i think we'll join in at this point we have half a million troops so we can be a little bit more optimistic in our chances here as the bot only has 40,000 troops left so let's go ahead and finish this off and yeah let's just keep refilling this until we're done we are going to cut off your friend from the southern part of the peninsula, so we'll get ever so slightly more land than him. But he is going to be... Let's try and get a truce with him, as he is probably our biggest threat at this point. I think we're all in agreement that the white team is the real threat here. So we do finish off this peninsula. We are now third in the world. We are incredibly strong. We never got that truce with the blue player below us, which is unfortunate. Our team is decimated completely gone it is really just us six years down there but i don't imagine he's gonna be long for this world as he only has 479,000 troops and isn't surrounded by some very large players so we'll just play the waste patient game here we cannot show any weakness otherwise we will get absolutely bullied on and we'll just kind of let the rest of the world do what they want to while we build up we will finish up the player in korea um i think now nah, i think we're big enough to get this done so let's go ahead and do that before somebody else boats into him and that will be good for us. We dropped down to fourth place overall, which is perfectly fine. Fortunately for us, we, pos we were positioned in a way that the white team can't attack us. So let's play some sneaky moves and go into Turkey down here in China, trying to grab more land at a discount and taking him out in Manchuria, potentially before the blue player notices. And he doesn't notice, so we're going to get all of Manchuria. That's going to be huge for us. And we can get Japan as well. So that works out great for us. We move back up into third place. And now we can just kind of continue to keep building up our troops. So what is my next target? Well, I would love for the white team to attack the blue player, but I am very concerned about what the white team is going to do. If they attack the, the blue player, then there's going to be two of them on my border, which is rather scary for me. Now, I can't attack into this white player, but, and I'm going to do that, even though it will give me borders on two of the white players. But I do feel like Kurgs is going to go down. German Reich is looking awfully big. And if we can get positioned on that front, we might still have a chance. I don't believe the blue team is really, or the white team is really in a position of strength 
as the O player is attacking the MPO player, so that is a great development for us. We can kind of pick a winner there. As Kirk is getting attacked, I don't know if I really want borders with German Reich. Well, let's go ahead and finish off this blue player. He's incredibly weak. We'll be able to get a lot more land out of this. And he does full send the white player on his way out, so we get a, a bunch more land, a lot more power, and we maintain our third position, which is becoming incredibly hard. I thought this white player was a lot stronger than he was, so let's go ahead and take him out as well, just continuously grabbing as much land as we can. Now, Australia is rather weak as well. Uh, yeah, brother, we, we're friends till the end, don't you worry. You're going to be my meat shield, if not my counterpart that helps me take over the rest of the world. The uh, yellow player is offering us a truce. He wants to go into stupid. I'm going to join that aspect. I'm trying. I don't think I can get down there in a way that will allow me to get Australia without yielding it to the yellow player. But I'm not that concerned with it. I think I'm strong enough to withstand it. Uh, at this point, I have two people I border. The triple zero player and your friend. I have the truth with your friend. And I imagine he has the German Reich to worry about. So who is who is this? Get you off. Oh, no, that's you. Well, that's an unfortunate development. Fortunately, your friend goes into triple zero and he gets attacked by the German Reich. So all is not well in the universe. Fortunately for us, the uh, green player over there only has about three million troops. So we're going to have to push into this guy. I did not want to fight this fight, but unfortunately, that was the way it goes. He was, there was no other person he was voting into other than me. So that was a fight we were going to have to take. Fortunately for us, stupid and uh, player 518 have incredibly diminished themselves. So we'll be able to get the island of Borneo as well as Australia at a tremendous discount. Your friend is still holding the line. I really don't want to attack him. I'd much rather kind of focus in on grabbing some more free land before I have to start a big engagement. Stupid tries to full send me, but it's not enough. He doesn't have the troops to get it done. It didn't even move us a little bit. So we get this entire island. We move up into second place in the world. Uh, first place is going rather fast though. He's at 100,000 troops already. So we can go into Tony Montagna, but that will give us borders with player 5112. That is a little bit scary of a proposition. Let's actually cancel that vote. And unfortunately, I think it's time to take out your friend with maybe an actual attack. I'm sorry, brother. I will avenge you. I will avenge you. I will take out the German Reich for you. That will be my parting gift as I take your land. And now we'll start the fight in the German Reich. This is a perfect target for us. He has a ton of land. He's in fourth place, but he only has 5 million troops. So we'll quickly be able to knock this down as Gunny, the blue player, is getting attacked by the green team. So we don't have to worry about that team up. The only other person that could potentially attack us is uh, Rola on the other green team. But he looks like, if anything, he'll probably join in on the blue team. Now, the blue team down there in Antarctica is very scary. So I do need to keep an eye out for boats as I start to kind of whittle down the German Reich and use Gunny as a little bit of a meat shield for me. A very dangerous situation for us. We need to continue growing as the crown is up to 150,000 pixels. He is on the black team, and the black team has almost half the board. Little Lonely is incredibly large. That's super scary for us, as he does start to border the German Reich. Attacking the German Reich any further is just going to give him more troops. Let's go into Gunny and see if we can stop the bleeding ever so slightly. Uh, Rolock is a bot now, so we'll just try and cut him off as much as possible. But this is going to be an incredibly hard fight for the two of us, as... Ooh, what are we going to do about this? This is a very dangerous situation. We don't have any teammates. We'll go ahead and finish off German Reich. Now, that blue player we were scared about in Antarctica has been peace with Little Lonely for a long time, but he is taking out the second uh, player on the black team. Let's try and get a truce with you. We might be able to win this together. This is going to be a very tough battle as the two of us have about 100 and or 200 and about uh, 80,000 pixels. So we still have a chance. I'm at red interest. It looks like he's at red interest. We didn't get the truce with player 5112. He is attack. Little Lonely does attack player 5112, and now he accepts the truce. So maybe we'll be able to pull this off after all. This is going to be a very hard battle for us, as we don't have the borders on player on Little Lonely like player 5112 does. But if he keep Little Lonely keeps wasting all of his troops on him, then this is still a good opportunity for us to get a lot of land. So we'll just keep pushing and hoping and waiting. We'll tell him, hey brother, just shield up. Uh, while you're getting attacked, and I'll attack. And once he attacks me, then you attack. Hopefully, he kind of gets that mantra. As Lil Lonely is attacking us. And he does break the truce. What the heck? Get off of here. I'm not going to just hand you the victory. Truce, truce, truce. Hopefully he accepts that. Because if not, all is lost. He needs to kind of start charging now. Brother, charge. Let's get into this. Don't let Lil Lonely just win like this. Uh, I'm getting attacked. I'm not in a position to attack. But I'll show that I am attacking. Just to kind of inspire him a little bit. 
We still have the chance of winning this, but I don't believe victory will be mine unless there's a dramatic turn of events in Little Lonely full sends on player 5112. Uh, Little Lonely is offering us the truce, but also attacking us at the same time. This is a very losing battle for us. But we, we have more troops than he does, so as long as we can keep his troops down... He's telling me to shield. No, no, no. This is the time to charge. If you got to do some moves here, I got to keep pushing. Uh, we are getting him down. He's down to 18 million. And so 5112 is about the same troop size as him. So we've kind of hit that breaking point of this becoming a possibility of us winning. But we'll just kind of sit around and wait. Right now, we don't have the land to get this done. We don't have the borders to win. A little Lonely is still offering us the truce. Absolutely not. I must take you down. There's no chance where if I truced up with him right now that I would win because I don't have any borders of player 5112. That is not a winning strategy for me. So we'll just keep up the attack. Hopefully player 5112 starts attacking with a little bit more ferocity as he is boating for the most part. Okay, he's getting attacked by a little lonely. That gives us a little opportunity to save up our troops, but we're at point two. So we're going to keep up the pressure here. I am working, brother. I am working. Whenever he starts attacking you, I'll start attacking him until he changes targets. And he does change targets and re-attacks us. And waiting for player 5112, he is moving the borders ever so slightly. He's doing very little attacks. He's kind of letting me do most of the work, it seems like, at this point. But we have gotten him down to the point where I believe 5112 is going to be a little bit more inspired to give more frequent attacks. We have this, brother. We just attack. Just attack and we can win this together. Little Lonely does full send me. Very unfortunate for us. But at least we were able to take out the crown. 5112 is not moving right away. Oh, he was. He was boating. And he will get the crown. We will get Europe and Asia. Unfortunately for us, there was never really a position for us to win unless he really full sent player 5112 and then we got lucky. But we did not. So we will be good sports about this and we'll take out this guy <laughs> in our rage. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. But player 5112 played a very good game and kind of was able to take out the crown with effectiveness. He really did a great job building everywhere and being everywhere. So GG's to him and GG's to Little Lonely. You played a very good game as well. Just unfortunately, I think if you left the German Reich and focused on the blue player first or earlier in the game before coming over into Europe, that you would have won. But he played really well. Both players very skilled. So we will say GG's to all involved. We'll say, let's peace out, brother. You earned the victory. Congratulations to you. We, I think we played a very well, good game considering we didn't have a single ally the whole time. He gives us the heart. We'll give him the heart. It does look like we're going to be able to peace out. And there we go. So GG's to all involved. And as we wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Especially if you made this fun the video. If you have made this far in the video, hey, give a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one.